Hello, and welcome to episode 73 of my Prostate is Trying to Kill Me. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer. That would be prostate cancer for those of you speaking English. And uh, I am happy to have you along for the journey. It's Wednesday night, and I've got the tundra all loaded up. The old lady is ready to go in the morning. And I'm just on my way over to Costco to uh, top off the tank. I've got about a, eh, a little less than a half a tank. I'm going to need more than that to get where I'm going. But uh, just looking at my sister's house. So they've got their Halloween lights up. Looks very festive. But this is going to be a short video. I got up this morning at a little after 5 o'clock. Oh, look at that moon. And... Um, Took my buddy Gary to the dentist. He uh, was getting some dental work done. So I uh, ran him down to Newport Beach, dropped him off, and then uh, was his scheduled pickup. So they said they would call me and let me know when he was done. So I proceeded to start working on uh, the Tundra. So I had to get, uh, let's see, had to run over and pick up ice, had to pick up wood. I uh, got that thrown up on the, the top, got the max tracks up on the uh, rack up there. Um, got everything loaded in the back. Got the two, I got two coolers, one for um, keeping the, the waters cold, and the other one is the, the Yeti that I got as a uh, retirement gift from AT&T. So I'm excited to try that out. It's not that big inside. It's a 40, it's a Tundra 45, um, and it's not huge inside. So uh, I guess the trick is you don't have to use as much ice, so you could put just as much stuff in it. It has a nice little basket, so I'll take some pictures of that and uh, post it up. I've got everything closed up in the back of the, the Tundra right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. But um, I just want to see what the... Oh, that works better. But um, yeah, so anyways, that's all loaded up. Food's all in there. The drinks are all in there. Everything's ready to go. I've got all of the uh, pew pew ready to go. That's still sitting in the safe. So that'll be the absolute last thing I do before I leave tomorrow is uh, go out there at about five in the morning and uh, open up the safe, grab my pew pews and uh, put them in the truck. And then I go. And if I get gas tonight, I don't have to do that tomorrow morning. So what I'll do is just stop at 7-Eleven, which is my normal thing to do. What do they call that? Not, uh, what do you call that? When, uh, there's a spider on the outside of my window. I hope he's on the outside. Yeah, he is. And, uh, man crashes tundra trying to catch minuscule spider. Um, wow, I'm totally blanking on what you call that when you do something every time. When it's a, uh, oh man. If you think of the word, write it in there. I'll, I'll think of it later, but right now I'm just totally blanking on it. I, I can't think of uh, which tradition. There, I knew. See, if you kind of back off a little bit, then you get it. Okay, so that's my tradition is go to 7-Eleven and get um, a cup of coffee on the way. Uh, it's weird. Uh, something going on. I'll see it in a minute here when I pass it. But um, I sorry to to pause like that. I can't tell what's going on in the middle of the street up here in front of me. Oh, guys on bicycles. That's what it is. Not a light. There, it looks like there's three guys. Not a light between them. But I can see the reflectors now of the uh, bicycles as they go across. Wow, that was stupid. Got cars coming both ways. All right. Well, here I am throwing rocks. I'm sure I'm, I've done idiotic things in my past and <laughs> will do them again in my future. But... The amazing thing about today is I have not stopped moving. I have been, uh, well, that's not true. I did, let me slow down and see what they got going on. Uh, oh, crap. oh, I feel so bad saying something. They have a stroller issue. Evidently something wrong with their strollers. But then that raises a question, what in the world are you idiots doing pushing two strollers and two bicycles across you know, a 45 mile per hour road with no lights on. God, that's dumb. Um, 
So a lot of energy today. Uh, moving all day, lifting stuff, you know, lifting my, my steel targets to get them in, the frames, uh, putting all the wood. I got four bundles of wood I put up on the, the, the uh, basket on the top of the tundra. Uh, put the uh, max tracks up there. Put, put the legs for the targets up there. And then uh, loaded um, all the camping stuff that goes in there. So, uh, you know, cooking stuff and uh, all that kind of stuff. My tent is up on top, so I don't have to pack that. But I'm still cranking. And it was funny because Larry, my neighbor from across the street, bless his heart, he's 78 years old, and he walks every day. Um, he comes down and walks our street, and then we have a park behind us. Um, and he, he walks, 78 years old, and he walks every day. And he stops and talks to everybody on the way. So I've never seen Larry in a bad mood. And today he came up and he says, uh, he, and he always asks how you feeling. And I haven't seen him much because when I went into radiation at about the three week mark, I didn't go outdoors anymore. I mean, I just felt like crap. So I never went out there. And uh, so he, he came up today and he says, hey, I just wanted to make sure, you know, everything's okay. Are you feeling all right? And I said, you know, Larry, every day I'm feeling better. Um, you know, it's it's nice that I'm getting more energy. I'm getting more stuff done. I said, I'm going camping. And he goes, oh, you have gone camping a long time. And he knows everything about the neighborhood. And uh, I said, it's true. I have not camped in a long time. I'm really looking forward to it. And he says, you know what? He goes, I feel really bad because the last time we talked, he said it was, you know, a while ago. He said, uh, I, I said, as is him talking to me, we're all praying for you. Whoop. Too late to pull over to the side of the road. That was a quickie. That's the hook and ladder. Huntington Beach uh, Fire Department. Awesome guys. Um, he said, you know, I, I said, we're all praying for you. And you just kind of walked away after saying that you've had a bad couple of weeks. And uh, he thought he hurt his feelings, bless his heart. And I said, nope. I said, I have a relationship with God, and I said, I appreciate every prayer that uh, you can offer up my way. And I said, so keep them coming, uh, keep them, keep them going, uh, however it works. <laughs> and I said, don't stop. Uh, so he was, he was happy to hear that. And he said, uh, he said, I thought about it. He says, just in case, you know, it, it, it hurts your feelings or whatever, or bothered you. He says, I, I was going to say, we're rooting for you. And I said, well, you can root for me too. I'd appreciate that. So we talked about my radiation and how the uh, PSA numbers will be checked out next week. And I explained to them how it works. If they're middle or go down, then that's good. If they go up, that's bad. And uh, then it would move on to uh, chemotherapy. So he wished me well, uh, told me to have a good time camping and continued his walk over to the park and back at 78 years old every night he does that so i've got to get my 60 year old butt back out there and uh, he walks in the evening i always walk in the morning uh, when i was walking and uh, so i got to get back to doing that again and pulling up on costco we'll see how bad the gas line looks it shouldn't be tough 628 right now but i have been cranking all day um I, you know i got all my food prepared for tomorrow um got all my sandwich meats lined up and in baggies and I got my pickles sliced up and um, yeah everything's ready to go so I even pre-sliced my buns and put every, everything into the coolers got all my waters in there uh, the only thing I have left to do is pack my backpack in the morning uh, put my uh, pills and my uh, supplements and all that kind of stuff in uh, take a shower and get dressed um, grab the pew pews jump in the truck and away I go and then I'll be back probably late Friday evening and then uh, Halloween is the next day on Saturday so I'm uh, pulling into Bella Terra that's okay you go right ahead I don't actually have to stop but I will slow down for you if you want to boy this parking lot sucks it's dangerous um, so I will be extra careful as I'm in here but uh, I'll wait for you I wish I could splice my dash cam with this because then you guys could see, see what I'm talking about. Um, uh, can I? Yes, I'll let you. I'll let you. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yep. A ah, wave. A wave. A wave makes all the difference, people. You know, it's like 
even if I don't act like I'm going to let you cut in front of me or pull in front of me or you know do whatever you're going to do, maybe you're trying to get on the freeway and you want to move over and I let you, just a wave. That's all I'm asking, you know? I mean, uh, especially too, like if you've done something stupid, no signal, and you just dart over, you know, cut in front of me and uh, cause, a, cause an issue, um, I won't even get ticked if you give me a wave. Oh, that's a little more crowded than I thought. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, a, a wave goes a long way. Just uh, give me an aloha. Hey, how you doing? All right, I gotta remember which side. Oh, I'm in the wrong side. I gotta pull over real quick. Oops, oops, oops. I hate it when I do that. I have my Samurai, the gas tank is on the other side, and my Tundra is on this side. So, okay. Anyways, um, oh, this is a goofy video. If you're still watching this, God bless you. Um, anyways, it's nice to have this, this energy. I can already feel my body's pretty sore, to, so tomorrow uh, when I wake up, I would imagine I'm going to need to pop some uh, uh, Tylenol. I have some extra strength Tylenol and uh, should take care of the, the aches and stuff. And then the drive out there will... And I don't even know. I mean, I may just set, set up my chair and sit out there and enjoy the heat. Because um, it's supposed to be a little warm during the day and then drop down into the, the 50s at night. So I'll be ready to bundle up for that. Um, just eating easy. I'm not cooking anything big this time. A lot of times we do steaks and baked potatoes and stuff. And I'm just doing canned stew this time and sandwiches for lunch. Uh, just taking it, taking it easy. Not overdoing it. But uh, I'm going to cut it here and uh, let you guys uh, continue on. If you did watch that whole video, thank you so much. And if you'd like to be part of uh, the journey as I uh, fight cancer, then uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the little bell and it'll notify you when a new uh, video is put up. And uh, likes, thumbs up, oh, there, thumbs up. Those work good on the algorithm. And uh, you guys have a wonderful evening. I probably, well, in fact, I, I won't be able to put a video up tomorrow night. I don't have cell service where I'm going. Um, that's actually not true. There is a big old mountain out there that I can climb, and I have cell service at the top. So, as I say, there won't be a video <laughs> tomorrow night. I'm not ready for uh, climbing to the top of the hill yet. So, I will take some pictures, and I'll throw them in the video uh, Friday night or Saturday morning depending on what time I get home. So love y'all. Thanks for the prayers, the positive thoughts, the juju, the aloha, the shaka, uh, everything you guys are sending my way, the prayers. Uh, have an awesome night, and uh, I'll uh, talk to you when I get back.